I've already set all hard at work. Probably. So I'm just going to leave them be for a little bit today and come hang out with my other favourite colonists instead. Yep, these little guys. I have been playing around with the Productive Bees mod a little bit here, just trying to find a better way to start housing these little chaps here, which I think I may have stumbled onto a perfect hive system for them. So there is an upgrade block which I've come across for the beehives called a simulator, which basically means that bees will no longer need to physically leave a hive to go feast upon a block in front of it. That whole job is then basically simulated within the beehives here, thanks to that upgrade block. So we can have a different assortment of bees within the hive here, and as long as we have something to feed them with in front of the hive, thank you very much for upgrading that guard tower there, Aiden. Then this whole process is basically just simulated here. This is a feeding slab, another block which I've come across, which is ridiculously easy to make. And you just stick the food for the bees within it, which then goes in front of the beehive. And that's pretty much the whole system there. So I don't need all of these hives here, all of this space for the bees. I really just need a few towers of this, as well as a few more simulator upgrades, which are kind of expensive to make. But that is where our blazing bee then comes into play, as he should be feeding off of the magma cube there and outputting us some blaze rods at some point. He is just a little bit slow with the production of it, but eventually we will get some more blaze rods out we will be able to create some more simulation upgrades and we can better house these bees here. Still on the topic of bees, I have selected a few different types of bees here which I think would be quite handy to have for the colony. Some of them will give us out some different items for the colony's use, other ones will just give us out some fancy items which I really want to see. So we are going to spend a little bit of time here just seeing if we can collect or at least breed up some of these bees. Starting off with a rancher bee, which is the breeding production of a sweat bee and a lumber bee. We do have ourselves a sweat bee here, so what we will need to get ourselves is this lumber bee, which we simply get then from breeding actually. We need to breed together a yellow carpenter bee and a green carpenter bee for that, which I guess the both of these are just simply found from nests out in the wild. Yep, pretty much here, a jungle nest or a spruce nest just out in a biome somewhere here. I don't really think they're all that picky actually. Let's maybe make some nests up very quickly. So that is one type of every nest here, which we will just place down. And now we need to get some treats into them. Ah, uh, we will need to make up a few treats here actually. There's a few of them, so let's put them into the nests and we will just wait the 20 minutes or whatever it is for a bee to spawn within them. Hopefully out of the six here, we will get at least one yellow and one green carpenter bee. I have updated the main colonies mod here and have noticed that some of our idiots are running around with a green exclamation mark on top of their head, such as Marine here. Can I ask you for a favour? I lost my glasses the other day and I can't see very well without them. Do you think you could find them for me? Uh, I'll go on then. Wait, she doesn't want glasses. What? Now you've got a green question mark. Uh, I assume you want some things here off the request system, yup. That's all you needed to tell me. None of this nonsense about glasses. Actually, there is quite a lot here on the open request list that we will need to deal with. That's a lot of books and paper. And a lot of other blocks for Anderson. Well, I am sure I seen some sawmill recipes there. Can't remember if they were Architects Cutter ones, apparently so, but a birch fence otherwise. 
the speed upgrades are something that I taught to the mechanic, I believe, but they will need some honeycomb blocks in order to do that. I think I can make some honey blocks up here fairly easy. Yes, I can. We really do need to get the apre up and established here so that I don't need to worry about any of this stuff. He says, actually still playing around with bees himself. Right then, idiots, there's paper for absolute days. You take all of that away and stop bothering me for it. We will also get a plantation up at some point to start looking after sugarcane for us here, which ultimately will then look after our paper needs. But we need the agricultural district to be a bit more fleshed out before we do that. Well, I was about to say that we are working on that, slowly working on that, which, uh, yep, I am still going to say that here. We still have a few buildings around that we need to start constructing and upgrading. I think that's a plantation there, yep. Well, let's go take care of this raid very quickly, and then we'll get back to bees or mine colonies, whatever the hell this episode's about here today. It looks as if we have another substantial barbarian raid on our hands here. I see them all in the distance over there. Yep. I will do my best to try take most of them out here, and I guess they will also assist me in that front, trying to take each other out. We do have plenty of new guards within the colony though, so they could be out here assisting me with this. But of course they won't, lazy asses. Although if you guys all group up and stop hitting me at once here, I might be able to take you all out fairly quickly. Yeah, this has worked out not too bad here actually. I'm taking not too much damage and these guys are falling pretty quick. And of course we have one barbarian idiot who has now disappeared and I cannot find them. I kind of hope he has wandered into the colony, then our guards can deal with him. Ah, uh, but yep. I think I will take this time then to just quickly teach some more recipes, then maybe play around with some bees. If our idiots cannot be bothered coming out to work, why should I work for them? Oh, we do have a bumblebee actually. I will be back for him in a minute because I have found out something about the bumblebees which I wish I had known earlier. And that was the successful chime of a raid now complete, so they must have found the last barbarian there, that's grand. I am looking for a saddle here within the warehouse. And I believe I can then put that saddle onto the bee, and then I can ride the bee around. Ah, uh, yep, it does seem that way. Although it has just gone back into its nest there, and I wasn't really able to ride it too much. Whenever it comes back out again, we will try capture it. I really want to try riding a bee around the place. Until then, back to this nonsense. And I see that some green carpenter bees have spawned from these nests here. Brilliant, there was at least two or three of them there. Any yellows? There is indeed a yellow one there as well. Brilliant. Now if I could just scoop you up, and where's one of the green ones? You come here as well. I can now breed both of them together to make this lumber bee that we need. But before I do that, I am going to make myself up a breeding chamber, which is a relatively simple recipe, although we will need a babi upgrade, uh, which it too looks to be fairly straightforward. So that should then be the babi upgrade for us, which should then be the breeding chamber for us. Perfect. Now, do I just input both bees like that? Oh, we automatically get out that one there. Uh, yes. The chamber needs some power in order to operate, which I don't think that's going to do it. No, I don't have any way to generate power within this mod. Well, that is unfortunate. We will just need to do this the old-fashioned way. 
Right, the both of you come down then and take two of those, then make me up what I need here. There it is. Let's scoop him up very quickly. And I may as well just grab the two of you back. See, this is why it's a good idea to have made this a dome shape here, so that they don't escape. Let's speed up your growth timer here a little bit then, Lumber Bee. And now I can breed you with the Sweat Bee to make whatever other bee we have been trying to make. Uh, oh, the Rancher Bee, that's it, with the little hat. I have no idea what this bee here does. I swear it's something to do with farming, but I will just speed up its growth timer here as well. Then we will see what it does for us. Oh no, I breed the rancher bee with a lumber bee actually, to make a farmer bee. That's why I made the rancher bee. I think the farmer bee can help our farmers out with their crops, and the rancher bee maybe help out with animal care. Honestly, I have no idea, but I will let that little thing grow up, then we will put it to work. Stud work, I think. And good news, that is the bumblebee back out. I'm back on it. Still can't really control it though. Can we go up? Can we go anywhere at all? Do you want some flowers? How do you then work, little chap? I do want to get on top of you, but I cannot move. Oh, I know what I'm missing. Hold on, hold on. We were missing a treat on a stick. So with it, we can now control the bee. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. I've always wanted to ride a bee. And we can actually go quite some height with this, although we might drop here. That was maybe not clever. Yep, the bumblebee is a bit too heavy for us to fly up very high and uh, now I'm going to die but still quite fun nonetheless even if we can't really see or not or are getting constantly killed. Well I can see that the rancher bee is now all grown up and ready for us to start breeding it with other type of bees so we will start off by breeding it together with its parent here I guess well maybe one of the cooldown ends and we will get out a farmer bee from it. Then I seen that we can also breed a cube bee here as well, which is a farmer bee alongside the rancher bee to make it. I think that bee also helps with the growth timer of animals and maybe other bees around here as well, so it might be worth our time making. Well, that's the breeding timer then done, so let's get the two of them being busy together, and there is our farmer bee. I really, really like the hats. And we will once again just allow that to grow up, then we will get ourselves out even more type of bees from breeding it. Our idiots are still not really requesting in any item that I need to help them with here at the moment, so I am once again just going to look into another type of bee to catch. And this one is a prismarine bee, which could be very very helpful for our level 4 upgrades. The way we catch these bees is kind of interesting, we basically just need to go fishing for them. It did say within deep waters, I don't know if this counts as deep waters or not, but whenever the bob goes down we will see if we can fish up a bee I suppose. Here something comes now, so let's pull that in, an enchanted book, not interested. If it's not a bee then I'm not very interested in it, so it is just going straight back into the waters. I wonder if I would be better fishing close to an ocean monument here. Maybe that would make a bit more sense, although not close enough so that those idiots start attacking me. Right, let's try here then and see if we can get anything. And something has caught it there. Fishy business. Oh, it is our prismarine bee. Oh, brilliant. Let's uh, capture it very quickly. Well, that was nice and quick. You come here. There is another fishing bee that we can get, a sponge bee. Not that it's too important compared to the prismarine one, but it seems to be the same principle. Let's throw out a couple of catches here and see if we can fish up one. 
Well, no sponge bees, but I did get two prismarine bees, so I'm certainly happy with that. Right, then my little farmer bee and rancher bee. Uh, have you managed to get stuck into the glass? That's tremendous. You have two minutes left on your breeding cooldown, which is not great because I was hoping that would have been done by now. Then we will breed you together with the farmer bee there to make this QB. And we will play around with all three of you then within a farming setting, just to see what you're going to do. Alrighty then, well that is the farmer bee and the rancher bee's cooldown done. So they should breed together to make us the cube bee, yep. And I will let him grow up, let's just uh, put him away just now. But as for these two bees here, let's quickly grab them and I want to go test something out with them. So with the farmer bee, I wonder if I could release it in here with all of these wheat crops that we have and maybe it can harvest them for us. I don't know if it will require any form of tool in order to harvest wheat crops here, but I will just monitor it here, see if it does do anything. Nope, it really didn't want to do too much farming down there and in fact found the only way out from it. Ah, uh, you were a bit of a pain in the arse to breed out, so let's not be running away. Unless you are going to require a nest to be nearby so that you can then start putting crops into it. Is that maybe how this works? Alrighty then, well I have a beehive there and let's release the farmer bee again. I don't know if that will make a difference or not. Well, I am going to leave it be here for a little bit and see if it does harvest any crops. We will check in on the hive whenever we come back. But I have a rancher bee that I now want to try something out with here. So I will be back. And in order for the rancher bee to work, I am going to require myself a test subject. Let's see if we can find any around the place. Yup, you know what, cow in a boat, you will do. Alright then, let's release that cow and then release the rancher bee. Now, will you do anything to the bee? Oh, something is happening here. Is the bee about to enter the cow? This could be quite horrifying actually. I wonder if you will need a nest here. There's one there for you. Are you going to go down into it? Uh, maybe. Yep, it has gone into the beehive here and I was wondering if it was maybe going to output us some form of new comb. Probably not, unless it needs to do that a few more times. Well, there's another bee that I will come back and check upon after we go check on the cube bee here. And I will need another willing test subject for this. Hello little rancher bee, nice to see you out here hard at work. Now as for the cube bee, are you going to do anything here with the cows? I think they might need some stimulus from some flowers, so I'll give them those. Then we'll see if it can do anything. As for the rancher bee though, I have seen it has given us out some milky combs, which we will check up and see what that will do in a second. The uh, cube bee is now harassing the cow, which is nice, so at least <laughs> it is doing something. Well, I'm going to let them continue on doing whatever the hell that is over there, and in the meantime I'm just going to put those milky combs into the centrifuge to see if anything would have been made from them. Yes, basically the milky combs can be transformed into some milk for us to then take out from a bucket using the centrifuge. It might require power for that, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, if we need milk, then I guess the rancher bee is another way to go. Well, I released uh, the glowing bee here and it's now away harassing it, so I'm not entirely sure what that little bee up there is doing, but yeah, I, I have no idea what anything's doing here at the moment. And our poor farmer bee here is just longing for its freedom. Uh, I don't know if it's harvested any crops here, 
there is certainly nothing within the beehive for it. Uh, yep, I might just take it out from here. I think I have a bit more reading to do here whenever it's coming to these bees, but this has certainly been an enlightening day here for me. Not a productive one, but I really love those little things.